Hello, my name is Dark Moon Doll, and this is Wednesday. And on Wednesdays, I like to do a show sometimes called Freeform Dreadlock Talk. Freeform Dreadlock Talk is a show where I share with you my adventures thus far with having freeform dreadlocks for over 19 years. And I answer whatever questions you may have on your freeform dreadlock journey. So today I want to answer a viewer's question about uh, whether or not they should wear a like satin cap on their head or a satin scarf. Um, this is my second set of dreads, by the way, if nobody knew that. Um, in 90, was it? 97 was my first set of dreads. And then 98, one year later, here's my second set of dreads. So in 97, when I first embarked upon the dreadlock journey, um, I poured through every um, natural hair care magazine I could for African Americans. <laughs> that was available only like in grocery stores, certain grocery stores. But anyway, I would pour through it and look at, look at um, how dreadlocks are supposed to look. That was my model <laughs> for dreadlocks. And then I saw mention of wearing a silk, sca silk, sca <laughs> a silk scarf or a silk bonnet at night to comp I thought I heard something. <laughs> Sorry. It's probably my uh, cat sneezing in the other room. But anyway, to wear that to protect your hair from getting like lint or any other kind of debris or whatever um, in your dreadlocks trapped in there. So I tried doing that and what I felt like is that it suffocated my scalp. I felt like really hot, my head felt hot. And so I just stopped using it altogether. Um, carried into my second set of dreads, which is the ones I have right now, 98 is when I started these. and. Um, I decided I didn't want to use a silk scarf or a silk bonnet at all because you know um, also I noticed that it ends up coming off my head too in the middle of the night so it just depends on what you feel like works for you I mean I can't really tell you if you should wear a silk bonnet on your head or not or not I think you just have to go with intuition if you feel like it's working for your dreads do it go for it you know and even if you're in this uh, you're doing this process of freeform dreadlocks and you decide the freeform dreadlocks aren't what you feel intuitively you should do. You need to go with your gut feeling. So I'm not here to proselytize. I'm not here to tell people to go out and let their hair dread naturally. I'm not here to do that. I'm here to provide information if people are interested in doing that. I mean, I'm not one to tell people what to do. But when asked, I will try to give out, exp you know, the best um, I guess you can call it advice. <laughs> the best advice I can give, you know, based on the experiences that I've had personally. So thank you for joining me today for today's dreadlock, free from dreadlock talk. Thank you, viewer, for the great question. Keep your questions coming and leave your questions in the comment section below if you have any questions specifically about freeform dreadlocks. Uh, thank you for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Uh, leave your kind comments. <laughs> Keep them coming. Leave them down, down there below. And uh, let's just keep it simple. That's what Freeform Dreadlocks for me is all about. It's keeping it simple and staying in touch with Mother Earth. Alrighty guys, see you soon. Peace.